Yo, what's going on, guys? The week is done. It is Friday night. We got a couple days off. Rest, relaxation, protein up, hydrate up, get your fruits, your vegetables in you, get some rest, all that good stuff. But boy, I was thinking a couple hours ago, it felt, this week felt like we got hammered pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but to end up where we did, and it just felt a lot worse than it did. As we know, right out of the gate, Tuesday, hammered to death. Wednesday hammered, Thursday hammered until we made that just badass recovery that we did. We touched on that yesterday. Probably my second favorite AMC day of all of the six and a half months worth of absolute madness was yesterday. And then today, kind of flat Friday with the low volume and stuff. But boy, it seems like we, we got hammered a lot worse than we did. But boy, it just shows the apes out there the strength of this thing. I think I've turned on like, you know, people that don't trade at all, like eight people, maybe roughly that have bought in shares. I've told them, Hey, just buy the shares. You might have to hold it for a week or you might have to hold it for a year. Give them a, a brief rundown. I'll tell you when to sell the whole deal. So today I get two phone calls and two of my buddies say, Hey, one of them calls me says, Hey, I bought 40 more shares yesterday. I'm like, yes, out of boy. He's seen the dip. He doesn't know nothing. He don't know nothing about nothing and bought the dip. So that was outstanding. Another guy did the same thing, about another 120 or something like that. But that's super cool. Yeah, and like I said, they don't know nothing about nothing. They just said, hey, this thing's going lower. Um, the goal is this. Let's buy some more. Freaking outstanding. Okay, let's take a peek over here. Oh, you guys, I found something crazy here. I think I found another iceberg lettuce what was the name of that place iceberg research or whatever the hell they were i think i found a very similar fud crap ola story i'm going to touch on that in a second here let's touch on uh, some dark pool activity and a citadel employee starting his own uh uh hedge fund outstanding good job get the hell out of citadel okay so here if you want to pause uh here take a peek at your or text dad i'm not showing this as much anymore the only thing as we know what we're looking at um the short interest right so that is that another thing too you guys if you ever need a reminder pause this video stare at it rewind it and just know the other is obviously us 83.62 percent roughly us 80 percent whatever you want to call it but look who's number one and number two as we know those guys yes so that's a good thing to look at just remember and this was updated seven six right so pretty cool now this here this made me sick to my stomach this is an old article, January of uh, 25th of 2021, okay? I'm only going to read two paragraphs of this, but this will make you just sick to your gills. Morning Coffee, Citadel Securities, enormous profits per employee. Bad luck to bankers caught up in the Brexit. Okay, now watch this. How, how much pe were people paid for 2020 in Citadel Securities? The electronic market-making firm founded by Ken Griffin, sire of hedge fund Citadel. We do know that Citadel Securities paid 659k per head in London in 2019, but that was two years ago, and during a year when the UK was down 79%. It seems reasonable to presume that last year's pay was much high, was higher. It was probably much higher, right? This here, this is a son of a gun. Listen to this real quick. Citadel Securities seeks 2.5 billion loan to refinance debt and bolster its trading capital. They came in after a year in which the company relocated up to 50 employees and their families to the Four Seasons Hotel in Palm Beach to their own bubble. Like, the, remember the, the god dang uh, NBA had the player bubble? Citadel had their own bubble in the Four Seasons Hotel in Palm Beach. I want to pull up that hotel. I'm sure it's an outstanding uh, place. Uh, to form their own bubble during the early pandemic. Now, listen to this. New trenches for fiber optic lines were dug and trading floor was set up in some of the hotel rooms. Oh, for Christ's sakes, they dug up the dip to get more fiber optic cables in there. They also follow a series of Citadel Securities internships at, who gives a rat's ass? But you hear that, you guys? Look at these guys. This is some high-tech crazy madness, man. They, they bring in all the dudes into a badass hotel, bring their families in there, then they dig the, dig the streets up new trenches for fiber optic lines. Remember that video I did? I, I, don't, I can't remember. It was a month ago. Where they, they mapped out, you know, 
an exact location in Jersey and ran all of these miles of those fiber optic and everything was set up to, to shave all these milliseconds, like even the locate, it's crazy. It's just absolutely asinine. And you know why I keep bringing all this stuff up with Citadel? A lot of people do it and we hate them and all that. But the one thing that I always say to myself is we are buying this thing. Call us dodo birds, dumb money, whatever you want to call us. We're buying this stock and we're holding this stock. The simple little tiny thing they never thought a year ago during a pandemic that anybody would be, I don't know, stupid enough to buy, you know, bring it all the way back to Roaring Kitty, finding GME and holding that and making millions and along with lots of other people. But all we're doing is buying this stupid stock. I don't want to say stupid. I'm sorry. I need to pull myself together. We're buying these stocks that were almost bankrupt a year ago. We are gobbling them up like savages, 80-something percent of AMC, probably close to 90 percent. And we're holding them, and we're going to beat guys like this. It's freaking outstanding. It's just awesome. Okay, so um, on to this. This is a damn doozy here. Okay, Yahoo Finance. This is today, right? Now, Loop Capital has come out swinging against AMC Entertainment. The meme stock that has defied all odds this year, according to CNBC, Loop analysts have doubled down their AMC warning. Doesn't say anything about shorting, okay? They're warning, reiterating a sell rating of the stock. The reason they cited was too many screens. Even as the movie chain is in the midst of a explosion push <laughs> in which it plans to grow its footprint. AMC investors have heard it all before and maintain they are not going anywhere, okay? So I go to myself, okay, who the hell is Loop Capital? This is kind of a similar thing that we've seen Iceberg Lettuce put onto Twitter, right? Um, so let's go over to their Twitter here. Here's Loop Capital with their 1,162 followers, very similar to uh, Iceberg Lettuce. Remember, they had they had about the same, I think. And then they grew, they 10, they 10 X'd it after everybody went over there and that article came out and everybody started writing about it. So long story short, here's their Twitter. Not much going on over here on the old Twitter mobile. Then you go over to their website. Kind of a crappy looking turd here, isn't it? Look at this. You know, this looks like a one of them. What's the... I used to have an old crappy website that looked like this. I paid like $7 a month for it. So anyway, here's their beautiful website, right? And then... I found one article on them. They're, the guy that runs it, there's a couple little things on him. He put together an article. But look at this thing. This is June 1 of 2021. AMC is worth $1 per share as its current stock price doesn't reflect fundamental value, stock market analyst says. And guess who it is? Right here. It's uh, Mr. AMC stock is worth $1 per share is valued in fundamental basis according to Loop Capital's market, Alan Gould. In an interview with CNBC on Monday, Gould reiterated his sell rating at $1 per share price target for AMC, despite the Reddit's favorite recent to me. Yeah, he doesn't mention anything in here, you guys, about any the stock being shorted. So I found that kind of crazy because, you know, this article on Yahoo, Loop Capital is weird. Then their Twitter isn't anything. The website sucks ass. And then you got this turd for one buck. Huh. Reminds you of iceberg lettuce, right? Um, and then also, too, look at this. This outstanding Reddit guy, um, Reddit admin Brainettes. This, look at this. Listen to this. It's only 10 seconds long, but they just cut this guy to shit right here. Cut him completely off. You got to listen. Down 530, and that, that didn't last long, though. You know what else didn't last long? What? The meme stock pullback. Did you notice that yesterday? Yeah. AMC was What's way happening? down initially. And then... Hello, I'm Karen Chen. We're taking you away from... Now, we could be overthinking this, right? But is somebody back there ready to pull the plug on some comments that are not supposed to be said? Or did that just kind of randomly hit? But if you notice, he said, what didn't last long was the, the meme stock pullback. Interesting. Boy, we just take anything, don't we, and kind of <laughs> twist things. And But, I mean, that's what I saw, right? Jesus, Murphy. 
Uh, and this here too, you guys, this is pretty cool. Um, this dude here, I forget his name, but this, uh, I'm going to pop this in there if you want to uh, read this. This is a um, ex-military gal, retired uh, army, I believe, but she did about a seven minute interview in there. Good to read for new apes, especially in there. She basically learned everything that she knows, and now she's been in AMC for a while. Uh, from Twitter, following Trey, uh, you know, mentions all the YouTubers, Twitter, and uh, Reddit. So I thought that was pretty cool. So if you guys want to uh, watch that, you can. I'll pop that in there. It's a pretty cool interview. Um, and then we got to check in with the Dark Pool guy. This here, too, you guys, I'm going to pop in there. As we always do, Appropriate Elk, we touch on the Dark Pool madness. He's always posting in here every day with his update. But he went into a little bit more detail here on this one. So pretty good read. I'll pop that in there if you guys have not seen that. Shout out to Appropriate Elk once again for his Dark Pool activity report of the day. And then one last thing on the way out the door. Look at this here. Ex-Citadel Securities Quant is founding his own firm. Huh. Kind of interesting, right? Maybe he had a butt full. Screw you guys. And, and I'm out of there. It's a real short little article if you want to read it. Nothing interesting. I just found it interesting that he's starting his own firm. Sure, it happens all the time, but still. Good for you, dude. Get out of there. Let's do this. Let's have a little fun here on the way on a Friday night. Let's see if our boys over there... Are they there? No, they're not. Good for you. Wait, get out of there, guys. You don't need to do nothing anyway. Okay, guys, that's it. I'll try to dig up some more uh, madness for tomorrow. Let's get some rest again. Hydration is very important, as I always say, your proteins, your vegetables, and all that. Again, or you can just say, screw it, and uh, binge drink the entire weekend. Ten years ago, that's what I would have been doing. So either way, you guys, I'm happy with whatever you do. But remember, get some rest. Let's see what next week uh, entails. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm out of here. Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to pin a comment in this comment here, and I'm going to keep this YouTube page, whether I stop doing videos tomorrow, next month, or 10 years from now, but I want to go back in this video and see what your guys is. Give me a, a quick little couple sentences on where you think AMC one year from now will be. Let's just say July 1 of next year. What will be the price? Uh, let's just go with the price or what you think will happen. Just a quick little brief uh, sentence or something. I think that would be fun. Plus, we can always go back and look at it and see how close we were, play closest to the pin. Okay, guys, get some rest. I'll talk to you later. Bye.